In this video, I'll show you how to score high damage in Temporal Vortex using the new Ice Blast team. Okay, first try with this team. This is the Ice Blast team. And we got to 3 million. Interesting, and the damage between those three is very close. All of them have max skills. So yeah, purchasing um, the staff for Garius allowed me to get 200k more, and the team survived around the same time. Um, so, you know, in the end, it was like a 10% increase in damage for the staff. So let's get the horn for Fur buff. So the 3.1 million was with the Scarab amulet. The 3.3 million is with the Gatekeeper staff. And I was really lucky and unlucky to pull so many dupes in the new uh, altar. So I could purchase all these artifacts. Otherwise, I would not. But, you know, since I got these uh, dupes, I'm not going to inspire the heroes. I prefer to invest in artifacts. So replacing um, artifact on fur buff with the king horn gave me another 10% increase, which resulted in 3.6 million damage. But I think the only reason I died is because I missed... The last attack down, because I lost accuracy by replacing these artifacts. Let's try it again. Troll has to hit the 100 stack attack down. If he misses any attack down now, we are screwed. There we go. Okay, last time he missed that. Oh man, Garius. Come on, Garius. Garius doesn't have much defense right now, so his heals are not great. And although I have the staff, I didn't overheal now. And look at this damage. Wow. Right, so 110 stacks. If he misses, we're dead. We're dead anyway. But yeah, 3.7 million damage. Two tanks, last man standing. Last two men standing. But yeah, definitely saving now. Uh, there's no much improvement. I mean, I could get maybe one more level on a hero and that's it. So let's save it, 3.7 million on day one of Temporal Vortex. This is the Vortex just being available. Let's see where it places me, 3.7 million, top 10. Right, just behind Misano, who's got a really good uh, wild team from what I remember. Oh, he's actually playing this, right? So he had a great wild team. Now he's going for Ice Blast and he's got Beldel. Wow. Lucky fella. I didn't. But yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the team. Um, let's try this same damage on the same team on level 2 as well. This is for tomorrow, basically. So, this is not a free-to-play friendly setup. The free-to-play friendly variant did 3.1 million. Everything you see now is the improved team with Garius's staff. This staff grants a lot of shields early on. Later on, you could see that despite me having this, he just couldn't overheal because his defense is not quite high yet because we don't have access to rare equipment. So that's the issue. Fruit buff is here only to apply the attack penalty. Well, I say only. 
Also, through this healing, he increases the damage our team does. Um, because he's ticking that constantly, basically. High upkeep. Main damage dealer comes from Garfin. Uh, Ice Blast team focuses on battle skills, so we want artifacts like Manticore Statue or the Legendary one that increases the battle skill damage because their battle skills basically replace auto attacks. They will never do auto attacks because they will be doing battle skills constantly. And max skills. Epic Hero, Season 2, you should have enough scrolls. You should have saved some scrolls for new heroes. Same with Bladen. Uh, Bladen at the moment has low crit rate, so it's uh, 31 plus 20. So 50%. So he's enabler of uh, crystals, but it doesn't work that well at the moment because on top of 50% crit rate, there's 20% chance, which goes to 30% chance of granting one stack of ice crystal to one ice blast ally. Okay, so it's not there yet, but he will be amazing later on. He, he scales really, really well. And I'm using Witches Remain on him, the first uh, legendary artifact that I had. Crown is good as well if you don't have Witches Remain. And uh, we use it because his ultimate hits three times. So it's a multi-hit. And at this level, level one was only, um, was it 35 accuracy? So here, it will be way, way harder for me to apply any debuffs, right? And the legendary from the Ice Blast team that I got is Shina. And I'm using pipes on her to boost every, well, to boost... Um, Bladen's uh, attack as well. It's not much, but it's the highest uh, damage, well, highest attack artifact I have. She doesn't do that much damage through her ultimate. It's a little bit, don't get me wrong. So I'm not I'm not using eyeball here. The best artifact on her will be uh, the legendary artifact that, that increases damage of battle skill. And yeah, she, she casts this battle skill quite quickly, but it doesn't matter as long as we have ice crystals, she will be casting it constantly. And when she grants Ice Ball, Ice Crystal to Ice Blast allies, the hero will additionally grant 1.5 attack up the last 10 seconds to all Ice Blast allies. And you could see that basically constantly being there av available for us. And yeah, and this is the team. And I mean, this team works really well. And I think it will be within the top three for Vortex. This is a single target team. So idea here is the same as on day one. We want to use the same team. The only difference is we got artifacts to level 12 and we unlocked the equipment dungeon, which allows us to farm better equipment, basically. And since I managed to do Grave of Venom level six, um, it wasn't that hard to get over uh, four and a half million damage on day two. Uh, so close to five, but you know, still second reward here. Eight million is a little bit out of my reach at the moment, but a uh, few things I need to do to improve that damage as well. As always, a little bit of RNG, and yes, we've passed five million. Okay, so this this is this is satisfying. This is what I'm going to save, and five million going to rank me at ninth, well eighth, with yesterday's score of seventh. So so far so good, Ice Blast team. The strategy doesn't change with what happened yesterday on the first day of Temporal Vortex. We're still using the same team with the same timings. Uh, I didn't go over the timings yesterday, but basically what we want to do is make sure that Furubav casts his attack penalty at 21 and a half seconds to absorb three skills and Garius heals just before the defense down and the boss ultimate skills. Um, and then our damage dealers, since uh, we built a little bit of accuracy on Belden, we're going to use his skill first to apply defense down and then use our main damage dealers with their ultimates. Although it doesn't really matter because the damage comes from the battle skills rather than from the ultimates. Now, the equipment has been improved because we were able to clear Grave of Venom and I got to Grave of Venom level 6 on auto farm. Thanks to the team uh, that I built, and I'll cover that in a separate video. Uh, we've built Furbuff with more HP. He's actually the tank here. He's taking the damage. 
and obviously defense as well to make sure we get this extra healing but the most important thing is attack penalty with high enough accuracy um, then we have Garius with the shield to keep our heals popping constantly build with more defense so we got defense on both of these pieces here to make sure we get as much defense as possible to keep ourselves top tap and um, Shina obviously is similar to previous organs here you can you can put the eyeball of the giant as well to <clears throat> increase her damage because you want the, the artifact with the highest attack on her unless you were lucky and you can purchase the legendary artifact uh, the set bonuses don't really matter i mean yeah it's cool to get extra attack but i could not get enough helmets to go for it and focus on the attack with a little bit of hp because we want uh, our heroes to survive i mean over 20k hp on all of those heroes is important because uh, you will see that the troll is actually the one dying first, which is all right. This is how it should be. Um, and then Garfin still the most damage done in the team. Uh, again, this, this is like one of the two heads that I have. And now her crit rate is at 30% base plus 20 from this. So 50% crit rate. And you can see that she's actually making the gap between her and other heroes bigger when it comes to damage. And Baldwin again, Bladen, sorry, again, uh, which is remain just over the accuracy required. And uh, crit rate set again, he needs this crit rate. He he probably should be priority when it comes to building crit rate because his crit rate has a chance of giving us the size crystals. And that's what we want on him. Okay, so that's why I went for these two pieces with crit rate on the glove. This is my only uh, piece of uh, equipment with the crit rate. Uh, I mean, the only glove, really. And yeah, as you can see, a little bit of accuracy here and there to make sure we can hit this. And we run in defensive aura to make sure both heals are better and helps our team to survive. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.